Hello dolls. I'm going to talk about my dear friend Cynthia Plastercaster today who recently passed. It's always so sad to lose someone, but her her history will live on. She was an incredible, very important artist. When Frank Zappa introduced us on the phone in 1968, I knew her work just from hearing about it from him was going to live through the ages and way ahead of her time. I mean, it was a ruse for her to meet the rock stars, which is excellent, but what an imagination, right? <laughs> she was in school and the teacher said they needed to make a mold of something hard. Of course, she, oh, okay. <laughs> Just in time, you know, she was a beetle freak like me and she loved the Brits and she was, she was really determined to meet the bands. And this was a very good way to do it. I'm going to read a little piece from this book that features all the groupies, 25 stories of groupies, let's spend the night together, uh, about Cynthia. From the moment my creative mentor, Frank Zappa, titillated me with the tale of Cynthia Plastercaster back in 1968, I have been fascinated by her brazen art. Riotously enamored with rock stars myself, I was also impressed by the ingenious way she set about meeting her personal faves. Frank believed Cynthia was an innovative groundbreaker and had decided that this shy, chubby, dark-haired girl from Chicago should join his wacky ranks, even though her particular art form could not be captured on vinyl. Thankfully, our squealy first meeting was captured when Frank introduced us on the phone and recorded our giggly call for a track on Permanent Damage, the album with my all-girl group, the GTOs. Cynthia has been praised as the Rodan of rock, an apt description for such an undeniable artiste. I have watched people blush and stammer, fume and pontificate, laugh uproariously and bow down to her audacity, her spunk, so to speak, when discussing the merits of Cynthia's artwork. Some of them might not consider what she does, making plaster replicas of rock stars' penises, to be an art form, but those folks are supremely uptight, short-sighted, and don't have a very good sense of humor. So that is my darling Cynthia. And of course, I've known her through the years. We've never been out of touch. We've always been close. Her life would, is not what most people would imagine. And I am going to be uh, finishing the book she started. She asked me to complete her book uh, and it's gonna be amazing. I assume it's gonna be called Plaster Caster. I think that's what she wanted. And you know, she's got a lot of pictures through the years and. I have actually slept among her dicks on several occasions. <laughs> I used to stay with her in Chicago when I visited, and I was literally surrounded by these penises, the peni, the peni collection. <laughs> yes, I was always honored to do so. And I actually, in, in the documentary of Let's Spend the Night Together, she's in it, of course, the VH1 special I did, we, she was trying to, to get this young musician to be casted and that's part of the story and it, it, it was so much fun to be with her when she was trying to convince someone that it was very important art you know it's so great and it is very important art and speaking of that i happen to have the most important art a very good friend of hers gave this to me and i'm so thrilled to have it i've always wanted this i've always wanted one there are very 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 few and now there will be no more but this Right here is Jimi Hendrix. Isn't that just beyond special? He had some girth and I'm sure it was exciting. <laughs> and here we have, this is actually number four of this, of the, the very fourth, the very fourth one that she, the impression she made of Jimi. On February 25th, 1968. So I will treasure this and I will treasure her memory and I love her so much. And that's just a little bit about her. If you want to read a lot more, you can read Let's Spend the Night Together or the book I'm going to complete for her, probably out in a couple of years. He's coming here, you know, in three weeks and I'm dying. I am just dying. Well, <laughs> the, oh, did you see him this time? <gasps> what happened? Did you see him? Oh, wow. How was it? He just
just left there? Yeah. Do you know what, what time exactly they're coming here? My heart's buttering. <laughs> Oh, did, uh, did you spend time with him this time? Yeah. Tell me about it. I want to hear it. <laughs> now, you can be blunt with me now. I read your diaries. Well, the yellow one's the most recent, but the, the white one's the truth. About five years ago.